Depending on your status within a meeting, you'll have access to different meeting tools. A meeting organiser has the most power, with the ability to modify the roles of other members. A presenter can share their screen and give control of their mouse and keyboard to another attendee. An attendee can listen and speak, but this permission can be modified by the organiser and the presenter. Here we'll see how to change someone's role during the course of a meeting. As you can see here, there are three people currently attending the meeting, and I've been given the role of both presenter and organiser. If I want to change this, I can do so by simply clicking on the name of one of the other attendees. This will activate a drop-down menu, and I can see that Make Presenter appears as one of the options. If I click here then, a pop-up window will appear, asking me to verify that I want this presenter change to be applied. It's important to be absolutely sure of this, as you won't be able to revoke the privileges of a presenter once they've been given. Also appearing in this pop-up window is a button which you can click to request keyboard and mouse control. You should tick this box if you want to be able to control the presenter's keyboard and mouse once the presenter role has been given. I'm going to deselect this and now I'm going to click on yes in order to transfer presenter privileges to Adam. As you can see now, a new window appears on the left hand side as I'm no longer in the presenter role myself. In this window, anything Adam chooses to share, including his webcam or screen, will be displayed. If, for example, Adam begins drawing on his screen, then I'll be able to see this here. As well as making another user a presenter, you can also transfer the position of organiser. If, for example, I'd like to give the organiser role to Isabella, I simply need to click next to her name, exactly as I did to make Adam the presenter, and then select Make Organiser from the drop-down menu. When I click here, another pop-up window will appear, asking me to confirm that I definitely want to do this. This is important as all organisers have equal rights, so Isabella will be able to override any of my actions once I've given her the organiser role. As I'm sure I want to do this, I'm going to click on Yes, and now the organiser role is shared between both me and Isabella. One of the actions which can only be carried out by an organiser is to dismiss someone from a meeting. If, for example, I'd like to dismiss Adam from my meeting and go down to the Dismiss option at the bottom. When I click here, I'll have to verify that I want to dismiss this person 